My name is Katrina Spatalu. I'm a senior researcher in smart grids and energy networks here at UCL Energy Institute. And I'm going to talk about the project I'm leading. It's a collaborative project funded by the British Council between UCL Energy Institute and Karazin Kharkiv National University in Ukraine, uh, the physics and energy department. Uh, the project itself focuses on the future and transparency of the energy system in Ukraine and its role in Europe and the challenges of combining uh, energy resources and the impact on the future energy networks. So the aim is to build um, a forum to engage with different stakeholders to examine the challenges and to exchange approaches and different methods. Uh, for example, our partners um, uh, will develop a better understanding of alternative energy system by learning from UK expertise in modeling and practice. Also, we can get a better understanding of a nuclear risk uh, implication, especially now when the UK decided to build a new nuclear power plant. Uh, so we'll learn various uh, lessons um, and we'll try to uh, understand not only uh, these lessons in relation to energy resources, but also concerning energy demand reduction, district heating, and overall energy policy. Uh, so Ukraine res uh, has recently been considered as one potential high future producer of unconventional gas. It has also the fifth most, most nuclear power plants in Europe, one of which is the largest in Europe, and also it has the largest uh, system of oil and gas pipelines in Europe. Uh, with Furfin underground gas storage uh, facilities. But despite this, it relies heavily on gas supplies from Russia, with about 75% uh, of its consumption is imported from Russia. So on top of that, uh, Ukraine uh, economy consumes too much energy. So to decrease its dependence and provide energy security, efficiency and environmental achievements, uh, Ukraine will have to look at alternative resources as well as to decrease its energy consumption. So there is high potential for generation of electricity from wind. Uh, it's about 50% of Ukraine territory is suitable for installation of wind power plants. Um, also has high potential for shale gas. So all these resources could potentially change the energy landscape in Ukraine and the role of Ukraine in Europe. So part of this project will organize a workshop on uh, European Union energy partnership with Ukraine and will try to analyze the future energy landscape in Europe with focus on the Russia, Ukraine and European Union route. So the main aim of the workshop is to develop some elements of a roadmap of actions needed in Europe to ensure a secure and sustainable diversity of energy resources. So the key points for uh, discussions are Europe energy landscape and the need uh, for reform, the energy security uh, uh, perceptions and responses, and strategies towards interdependence and changes in regional energy policy patterns.